Today, I'm going to show you how to calculate same period lasting variance percentage using variable in DAX. And this is going to take into consideration using the if logical DAX function to handle zero or blank when current or the previous year values are missing. In my model, I'm going to just come to the model view and basically I've got three tables the fact table, the theme account manager, and the calendar table, the DD table. So I'm going to come to the report view, and of course, in the report view, I've got the year, month, and the revenue. Now I want to go on and calculate the same per last year variance percentage. I'm going to right click on the sales and choose new measure. In the formula bar, I'm going to call it same per last year variance percentage equal or enter. For the first variable, I'm going to call that one underscore current year revenue equal to established revenue measure or to enter. And then for the second variable, I'm going to call that underscore previous year revenue equal to enter. I'm going to press the tab key and I'm going to call the calculate DAX function and then put enter. For the expression, I'm going to call the revenue measure comma or to enter and then to modify the context of the calculate function i'm going to call the same period last year time intelligence function or to enter and then for the date i'm going to call the d date date column from the d dimension table so i'm going to close the bracket for the same period last year or to enter backspace and then i'm going to close the bracket for the calculate or to enter backspace and then for the return or to enter now you want to undo all the blanks in the current and the previous year so i'm going to use the a function a function and then alt enter now for the logical test to be evaluated i want to check if the underscore current year is blank so i'm going to use this blank function and then i'm going to check the underscore current year and then close that up and then i want to put in the space now i'm going to check using the odd logical operation so i'm going to use double pipe and then for the second part i'm going to check if the previous is also blank so under its blank function and then i'm going to call the underscore py revenue and then close that off and then another double pipe to signify all the logical operation and then i want to also check if the previous year is equal to zero and then i can put in a comma so this is going to be the logical test to be evaluated now the result if true or to enter now if this logical test is true then i want to return blank and now the blank is just going to be open and close bracket comma and then if the logical test is false or to enter then i can go and run the divide now for the divide i want to take the underscore cy that is the current year minus the underscore py the previous year comma and then for the denominator i want to divide by underscore py that is the previous year and then for the alternate result i'm just putting zero and then i can go on and close the parentheses I'll close the bracket and then I can hold enter for the last time backspace backspace and close the if logical function so I can go on and commit and click on this commit or just press enter and that's going to be committed and then I can go on and select the measure so selected I can apply the percentage symbol and that's what we need to do I can close up this for now and then I'm going to drag onto the report canvas here and there we go amazing so you can see for all the records for the 2013 to the december of 2013 you can see everything written blanks that's working fine and then when i scroll down you can see all the record for 2016 that we do not have actually you know not visible so this is basically how we can use the amazing variable to construct our dax formula to take into consideration the previous year and the current year that are blanks or zero. I trust you did this video. If you do, like, give the thumbs up, and then share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.